going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam X1 here. And ever since the release of Code of the Duelist, you guys have been requesting for a Trickstar deck profile. And I would like to apologize to you guys that I couldn't give you guys this deck profile as quickly as possible. But now, since the set is finally released, I have all the cards in the deck profile for you guys. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, guys, as I progress to the deck profile, I'll be explaining to you guys some of my card choices and the reasons why I play them. The fact that Burn might actually be meta is absolutely insane. And the reason why I also love this deck so much is because we're able to incorporate Drone Lockbird with Trickstar Reincarnation. We are able to literally banish your opponent's entire hand and preventing them from drawing at all, which is absolutely insane. By the way, guys, I have a true Draco play mat still available. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, make sure you guys get your true Draco play mat today. I accept PayPal only, and I do free shipping to Canada and USA. International shipping will cost extra. So if you guys are interested in helping the channel and supporting the team, make sure you guys message me on my Facebook page to get your true Draco play mat today. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Start off with the monsters real quick. You want to play Triple Trickstar Candina. This card is one of the best cards in the deck for the fact that it's essentially your Elemental Straddles for Trickstars. Basically, when this card is normal summon, you can add one Trickstar card directly from your deck to your hand, and each time your opponent activates a spell trap card, inflict 200 damage to your opponents immediately after it resolves. So it kind of has a similar effect to Red Eyes Flare Metal. Instead of dealing 500, you inflict 200 damage to your opponents directly each time they resolve a spell and trap card, which is pretty good as well. And you can search any Trickstar card directly from your deck to your hand. Monster spell or traps. For spells, you search the light stage. For traps, you search the reincarnation. And for the monsters, you're more likely going to be searching the Lycoris of the Trickstar Candina. So some of the monsters you're going to play, of course, triple Trickstar Candina. Yeah. Trickstar Lycoris effect reads that it's a quick effect. You can reveal this card in your hand and target one Trickstar monster you control except for Trickstar Lycoris. Special summon this card, and if you do, return that monster to the hand. And each time your opponent would add a card to their hand, from the graveyard to the hand, from the field to the hand, from the deck to the hand, you basically deal 200 damage for each card that is added to the hand. So every draw phase, your opponent will lose 200 light points, which is really insane. And a really good thing about I like her is that she's able to bounce back Candina to her hand. It's a special summon itself. And then that way that you can always re reuse Candina, which is really awesome. Especially with chain summoning, she's really great as well. And especially with Trickstar Reincarnation, you're basically going to be gaming your opponent with using Lycoris and Trickstar Reincarnation most of the time. Anyways, so I'll explain to you guys all those cards throughout the end of the video so three lycris and one candina and last but not least for our trickstar monster you're going to play of course the one trickstar lilybell this card is absolutely amazing anytime this card is added to the hand from the griever to the hand from the deck to the hand you basically get a special from this card and each time this card inflicts damage to your opponent you get to add a trickstar monster directly from a griever back into her hand and the good thing about this card is that she can attack directly so as soon as she attacks directly and inflicts damage to your opponent you're able to add back candina or a lycris directly from your graveyard back into your hand which is really good and there's an amazing one card combo if you already have multiple copies of Lycoris in the graveyard, you can actually do a really cool combo with just having Lily Bell on the field, which is absolutely insane, which I'll showcase you guys that throughout the end of the video. So one Trickstar Lily Bell to round off our Trickstar monsters. The reason why I also love this deck as well is because you're able to play a significant amount of hand traps. You're going to play Triple Drone Lockbird. This card is absolutely insane oh my goodness guys for the fact that this deck has the ability to resolve draw lockbird with reincarnation it's absolutely phenomenal triple draw lockbird i'll explain to you guys the combo throughout the end of the video anyways uh next we're gonna play double gold soldier really solid cards uh, overall in today's meta and of course double ash blossom um for the true Draco matchup, especially true Draco Demise, Ash Blossom, is, and, and also the Ghost Ogre, which is just really good. And last but not least, you're going to play the one Maxi. Maxi is just a really great card to actually play in the deck. You guys don't know how powerful Maxi is. Maxi is the best monster in the game right now. And the last hand trap that you guys want to play is uh, Double Honest. This card is absolutely phenomenal, especially in Trick Stars, for the fact that all of your main monsters are light monsters anyway, so you're going to be more than likely be able to protect uh, your monsters from being killed by Masterpiece and things like that. I just want to have a main deck out to Masterpiece, and Honest is one of them. Honest is a really great card out just to kill the Masterpiece overall, especially during the damage step. You know, Candina and also Lycoris are light monsters, which Honest can become really effective. You guys probably want to understand, have you tried the Barrier Statue version with, you know, you're playing Barrier Statues with Honest and things like that? I did try that version, but I found that that version tends to be a little bit more breaky so I just decided to just keep the Honest in the deck. So I just decided just to main deck the Honest and not main deck the Light Statues and also Ties of the Brethren because although that it has a really high ceiling and it's you know it's basically more a high risk high reward kind of thing. Once I drew Ties of the Brethren, it became really really good. But when I drew multiple Barrier Statues and things like that and multiple Ties of the Brethren without seeing Candina, it just becomes really bricky. So throughout testing, I find that it's more effective just to main deck the Honest rather than playing more bricks in the deck in my personal opinion. But if you guys want 
want to incorporate the light barrier statues into the deck with Tizer Regin and things like that, you guys can go ahead and do that. It's all to personal preference, preference on what you guys want to play. But you know, throughout testing, I find that just meaning deck the honest is just more than enough. All right, guys, off to the spell card real quick. This card is absolutely amazing. You want to play Triple Trick Star Light Stage? This card is absolutely insane. Holy macaroni, guys! When this card is activated, you can add one Trickster monster directly from your deck to your hand. Most of the time, you'll be adding Candina anyways. And then when you normal summon Candina, Candina can search the Reincarnation or the Lycris, which is really good. The secondary effect is insane. Once per turn, you can target one set card in your opponent's spawn trap card zone. While this card is uh, in the field zone, that set card cannot be activated until the end of the phase. And your opponent must activate during the end phase or else send it to the graveyard. And each time a Trick Star monster you control inflicts battle damage or effect damage to your opponent, inflicts 200 damage to them. So if you have this card basically on the field, each time like Chris or Candina were to inflict damage to your opponent, you basically deal 200 more damage, which is absolutely insane. And also with a secondary effect where, you know, you're able to basically uh, uh, Gyoku, right? Uh, Fire Fist Gyoku. Yeah, Fire Fist Gyoku, a back row. And then for the rest of the turn, if your opponent cannot activate that during the end phase, you send that card to the graveyard, which is absolutely insane. So trip, uh, triple trip star light stage is definitely the must off in the deck. And this card can actually help you game your opponent uh, fairly quickly, depending on the cards that are in your hand. So the extra burn damage actually helps. So triple uh, trip star uh, light stage, the end to see the light stage, of course, you're going to play triple terraforming. Uh, cards really amazing to search out the light stage. You want to see light stage as quickly as possible. Next off, this is one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, but you want to play triple chain summoning. This card is absolutely insane. Holy crap, guys. You can actually game your opponent by opening up Chain Summoning with Candina and Lycoris, which I'll showcase you guys the combo throughout the end of the video. But basically what this card does is that actually only as a Chain Link 3 or higher, you can normal summon up to three times this turn, and you cannot activate this card if multiple cards or effect with the same name are in that chain. So basically what this card does is that since Trick Stars are not a once per turn effect, you can constantly keep normal summon Candina to basically search your resource directly from your deck to your hand freely with Chain Summoning, which is absolutely insane. And I'll showcase you guys that combo throughout the end of the video with Chain Summoning and how powerful this card is. Although that this card is a really high risk, high reward card, it's a really high reward. It's insane. Once you resolve this card, you're basically more likely just going to win the game, which is really powerful. So Triple Chain Summoning is definitely a must off in the deck in my personal opinion. And I feel like you can just easily OTK your opponent by just opening up this card. So Triple Chain Summoning. I love generic uh, back removal, and especially during your uh, turn. If your opponent were to activate, you know, a true Draco trap to tribute on the, uh, your turn, you can activate Cause of Cyclone. You can, you, you're more likely going to hold the Cause of Cyclone for that situation, anyways, to basically kill the true Draco traps, which is really good. So, uh, double Cause of Cyclone is just really amazing. And last but not least, for our spells, I play the uh, Pod Duality. Sometimes Pod Duality does conflict with Lycris, but most of the time, if you don't see the combo pieces that you need, Pod Duality gets you there. You know, Pod Duality digs you three cards deeper into your deck to see the resources that you need, which is why I love Pod. And also, Lycris is a Druid either player's turn effect to special summon herself, so you can activate Lycris on your opponent's turn if you already activate Pod Duality anyways. So Pod Duality is just really good to help you dig deeper into your deck. Alright guys, for the traps, you want to play Triple Trick Star Reincarnation. This card is absolute beast. Oh my goodness, guys. Basically, this card resets your opponent's hand. So, you know, you banish your opponent's higher hand. They draw the exact same amount, which is really good. And the secondary effect is that you can banish this card from the graveyard. Uh, and then target one trick star monster gave and special summon it and this effect is only once per turn effect which is absolutely insane so you can actually spam multiple copies of trick star monsters from the graveyard depending on how many copies of reincarnations that you have so the card is just really good and especially combo off with Joel Lockbird is just absolutely insane if you have double trick star reincarnation and, and Joel Lockbird you can basically do the combo as well where cards are being able to add themselves directly from the deck to your hand you, you can activate reincarnation chain Joel Lockbird Joel Lockbird will resolve reincarnation will basically banish your opponent's entire hand and then your opponent will not get the draw card Cards at all so a triple trick star reincarnation is definitely a must off in the deck so a triple of those really standard next off you want to play triple blazing mirror force oh my goodness guys i love this card card is insane especially coming off with light chris and already you're you're dealing a ton of burn damage to your opponent already and just you know to put the icing on the cake blazing mirror force just finishes your opponent uh entirely so basically when your opponent monster declares an attack destroy all monsters your opponent controls and your opponent, your opponent basically lose half of all the monsters damage which can potentially just game your opponent which is insane so triple blazing mirror force I love to play the double song strike uh, really good uh, protection cards that actually protect your uh, trick star monsters especially from card effects and uh, same thing as solemn warning you know getting rid of the masterpiece is just really good and last but not least you want to play the one ring of destruction uh to round off your traps and these traps are just really powerful traps you're able to burn your opponent with ring of destruction and also blazing mirror forge is really good and trick star reincarnation is really good overall because each time your opponent would add a card uh Lycris will activate so if you banish five cards in your opponent's hand Lycris will basically deal 200 damage for each card your opponent draws so if they draw five cards 
200 damage for each. That's a thousand damage to opponent's life points, which is insane. So, uh, the Ring Destruction, Reincarnation, Blazing Mirror Force, they all work really well and synergizes really well together in the deck. So, that's pretty much it for the traps. Let's go off into the extra deck. Alright guys, extra deck isn't necessary at all, but you know what, for the extra deck you want to play of course, one trick star uh, holy angel, you make it with two trick star monsters, and each time a trick star monster is normal summoner special summon to his zone, discard point two, inflict 200 damage to your opponent, uh, trick star monster that discard points to cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect, if your opponent takes damage by a trick star monster's effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage they took until the end of this turn, so which is really really good, so if you deal 200 damage, uh, and your opponent takes 200 damage, he basically gains 200 attack, which is really awesome, so you make it, you, 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 make, you make holy angel sometimes, and most of the time, you're just going to be burning your opponent anyways with the monster that you have on the field. So one Holy Angel, one Deco Talker, one Firewall Dragon. These cards are just accessible in the deck, but I barely go into them anyways. One Karakorgon, one Tsukiyomi. You can actually make this because all your monsters are light. One Cowboy for game, one Ragnar Zero, one uh, S39 Utopia Lightning, one Utopia, okay? This is a Utopia. I don't have a Utopia. I cannot find it for some reason, but this is a Utopia right there. Uh, one Tornado Dragon, one Samurai for game, Castell, Abyss Dweller. And I I'm missing some cards in the extra deck, but you guys can play whatever cards you guys would like in the extra deck. Uh, extra deck doesn't really matter too much, but most of the time you're just gonna be making Trickstar Holy Angel anyways to basically clear your boards. Uh, so, that way that, yeah, that, so that way that you can spam more Trickstar monsters, which is absolutely insane. So uh, that's pretty much it for the extra deck. And let's go off into our combo real quick. So start off with a quick combo real quick. This combo, you're able to kill your opponent directly, dealing 8,400 damage to your opponent's life points by just opening these three cards in your hand, which is absolutely insane. So it requires you to have Chain Summoning, Trickstar Candina, and also Trickstar Lycris in your opening hand. And what you want to do is you want to Normal Summon Candina, okay? Activate Candina's effect, Chain Link 1. Chain Lycris effect, Chain Link 2, okay? To basically target the Special Summon itself. And then on Chain Link 3, you want to activate Chain Summoning. So now, so Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 3, activate Chain Summoning, okay? Chain Summoning resolves this card goes to the graveyard okay like lycoris will special summon herself chain link two bouncing back the candina back into your hand and then candina will activate his effect to search your second trick star candina directly from your deck into your hand so this is your hand right now okay true candinas and also the lycoris which is really good so now what you want to do is that since you have two more normal summons what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon candina again activate a candina's effect to basically search your Lycoris directly from your deck into your hand. Okay, search this card directly from your deck to your hand. So there you go, you have these two cards in, in your hand right now. And then you want to activate your third normal summon. Okay, summon the Trickstar Candina. Okay, adding the second, adding the third Lycoris directly from your deck to your hand. So you have this right here. Uh, these two cards in your hand and these two cards on the field. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna enter battle phase. Okay, assuming that they have nothing, you're gonna deal 1600 da damage to your opponent. Okay, plus 1800. This deals 3600 damage total. Since you dealt 1600 damage to your opponent's life points and 3600 damage to your life points. Okay, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna activate the one Lycoris effect to bounce back the Candina into your hand to summon the Lycoris, and then you're gonna activate the other Lycoris in your hand that you search to bounce back the other Candina to special summon the Lycoris, and now you're gonna deal 3200 more damage to your opponent's life points so 16 plus 36 plus 3200 damage equals a total of 8400 damage directly to your opponent uh first turn if your attack were to go through so that's how you can easily just OTK your opponent by opening up uh chain summoning uh candina and also lycris in your first turn opening hand especially going second uh which is really really awesome so that's pretty much it for the first combo let's go off to the second combo all right, guys, for the second combo, this requires you to go first. And you can deal 6,400 damage directly to your opponent's life points by opening up these cards, which is absolutely insane. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. Normal summon Candina, activate Candina's effect in chain link 1, activate Lycoris chain link 2, chain, uh, chain summoning chain link 3. So activate chain summoning chain link 2 will resolve, bouncing back, can no, special summoning Lycoris and bouncing back Candina to your hand. And Candina will get its effect to basically search the Trickstar light stage directly from your deck into your hand. So adding the light stage directly from your deck to your hand and this is your hand right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate light stage okay activate light stage effect to basically let you add the light Chris directly from your deck to your hand what you're gonna do is that you're gonna normal summon candina okay this is your second normal summon okay normal summon the second candina candina will get the activated effect to search the trick star reincarnation directly from your deck to your hand so now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna bounce back candina right here boom okay 
to special summon uh, the Lycoris right here. And then now you're going to use your third normal summon since chain, su chain summoning allows you to summon three times to normal summon the Candino right here. Candino activate effect to basically search the Trickstar reincarnation directly from your deck to your hand. And this is your hand right here. So now you're going to be set these two cards right here. And then you're just going to pass. So during your opponent's draw phase, your opponent will lose 200 off one Lycoris and 200 off the other. So a total of 400. On top of that, with the light stage effect, since you're dealing damage using a Trickstar monster effect, it deals 200 additional damage each so since you burn 200 damage one off lacris and one off the other you're gonna be dealing a total of 400 damage off the light stage uh, plus 400 off the light Chris's effect leaving you 800 damage to your opponent's life points which is absolutely insane okay so that's 800 right there and now what you're gonna do is that since your opponent has six cards in hand you're gonna activate the trickstar reincarnation and activate trickstar reincarnation again which means a total of 12 cards drawn which will inflict 2400 damage from each trickstar light Chris on the field and each trickstar light Chris activates its effect twice that is a total of four activations allowing trickstar light stage to chip in 800 damage that adds up to 2400 times 2 which is 4800 damage plus 800 which gives 5600 damage to opponent's life points and the total damage okay on top of that with the 5600 you're dealing 800 damage from the draw phase as well so dealing 6400 damage directly to your opponent first turn Oh, just opening up Chain Summoning, Candina, and also uh, the Lycris in your first turn opening hand, which can just kill your opponent for 6400 damage, which is uh, pretty huge in my personal opinion. So that's pretty much it for the second combo. Let's I just want to go quickly on how you can resolve Reincarnation with Joel Lockbird. So what you basically do is that if you have double copies of Reincarnation, you can basically resolve this combo. Okay, so you go, you know, one Reincarnation, chain the other, okay, chain Joel Lockbird, and then your opponent won't be able to draw cards uh, for the rest of their turn. They'll banish their entire hand, but it won't get to draw anything, leaving your opponent handless, which is really amazing. And another way that you can actually resolve Reincarnation and also draw a Lockbird, especially during your opponent's turn when they're adding a card directly from the deck to your hand. For example, you uh, set Reincarnation and pass, okay? okay and, and you have Draw Lockbird in your hand. So what they do is that they activate Terraforming. Once they add a Diagram directly from your deck to your hand, you're going to activate Reincarnation's effect, okay? Uh, to basically chain onto the res resolution of terraforming, you can chain Drone Lockbird's effect to send this card to the graveyard. What will happen is that Drone Lockbird will resolve, Reincarnation will resolve afterwards, banish your opponent entire hand, and then your opponent will, will not be able to draw because of Drone Lockbird's effect. So that's what's really good thing about Drone Lockbird and Reincarnation. The fact that you're actually able to just have this, uh, you know, accessible, have this combo accessible in the deck is just absolutely insane. So yeah, so that's what's really good about this deck. I love the way that this deck works. I love the way that Trick Stars, I love the fact that Trick Stars might actually become meta. Uh, within the future which is absolutely amazing if you guys want to see more deck profiles or different type of variations with trick stars please let me know down in the comment section below that'll be absolutely amazing guys i have a bunch of deck profiles coming up for the post code of the duelist so if you guys didn't stay tuned for that that'll be amazing make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button that'll be really great as well and this is sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace